you know what the fuck it is, man. Let's talk. Let's talk business today, all right? So another day, man. Like I said, just before I get started, man, I saw these BRC people again. These homeless Irish people. Watch out for these people, man. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Um, you know, like I said, I got shot by like everyone from Little Kim to like Rihanna, Katy Perry, Beyonce. They actually came out and shot me over over music uh, industry work I did. Uh, as a biotech developer for different record labels as a DJ. I've been doing that shit for over 20 years. In fact, I started from my father's record label as a kid, right? So don't let anybody in New York say you fake or talk shit. They know what the fuck they're doing, all right? Let me tell you, let me put it in perspective. BRC is like a homeless outreach shit, but they'll have you sleep on the streets and not say a damn thing. Meanwhile, the mayor and the governor fucking pandering diddles and, and, and talking shit everywhere they go. They ain't doing real work. I'm going to tell you what the fuck it is, all right? I was at Microsoft Windows since the 90s, all right? We did Golden Boy with Shusha. Okay, watch the anime. That was in like back in 1989 we did that shit. And I was in the Akira committee, so don't let anybody in New York tell you shit, okay? Okay? I'm in a lifetime award winner at Bioware. I don't need this shit. Stop fucking talking shit. It ain't even about privilege. Just go the fuck up and recognize real business and solvency, all right? You pay up with money or with respect or shut the fuck up. So that's the lesson there. Don't tell me that I'm confused. You know what the fuck you're doing, all right? You saw me directly, and you saw me I was confused? Come on, you know where you at, all right? I got shot by some of your vagrants. Hot 97 and MTV ran rampant. You ain't doing shit. We gave you a free advance on my record label, and we told you to keep trying. So it's two, two bankruptcies and, and um, more science. Therefore, 007, 007. You heard? That's what the fuck it is. So stop playing fake. So we're going to talk about a couple things today. I had to say that in advance. I spoke to these guys. I saw the BRC crew with their little shirts and stuff. Don't even waste money on that on those garments. Just come pay me directly for the lies you sold, all right? I was at Microsoft Windows Home the whole time. Don't ever tell me I'm sleeping in a homeless shelter because you motherfuckers. Don't ever tell me because the police got to shoot into a home or shoot their way out that y'all doing real work. You're not. It ain't nothing nice, all right? I got to tell it to you nasty. Um... You know, real, licensed real estate, all fucking bullshit, all right? You use addresses, you use names, locations to shoot at us. I don't want to hear about your petty little vagrant calls overseas griping about fucking profits and messiahs and ain't saving your ass. Go the fuck up. Be who I am right now and address me as a man. Get a real story, all right? So I'm going to tell you what it is, right? I had, I had to do that at Precursor. I don't want to hear about licensed real estate. You ain't doing shit. First, I don't want to hear about police officers. You don't know who the fuck you are. Don't tell me you don't know who I am, all right? You got dossiers. You got everything. Nanotech and biotech. We're going to discuss that. I don't want to hear about homeless outreach. Don't, don't tell me a damn fucking thing, all right? You, ain't, you, you, you guys are not providing us with real resources in New York. Don't tell me that everyone's always fucking broke and we're missing $40 trillion in the city off the strength of Wall Street and the last stock market crash 11 years ago. You, t you tell me you're doing this shit again? The answer is don't fucking try. You never paid for Microsoft's development staff. You never paid for independent creative work, all right? So if it's capitalism, we ran a ram shot on your ass. But we, I got to count money. Otherwise, step the fuck to the side. You ain't showing us respect, all right? It's nothing nice anymore. We don't need shoots and ties and procedures and politeness. You want it from me directly? You can watch my videos. You can hear me say it. All right, you know who the fuck you are, so grow up, all right? Act like real adults. We doing business. We industrialists, all right? Recognize. So I said, I'm going to start today, all right? So it's uh, October 13th, 2020. Getting cold outside. About six months now. I've been sleeping under trees, but you know what? We doing this shit. I'm not faking it for none of y'all motherfuckers. One of y'all is gonna get a real story, or you little dullards get canceled. Stop looking cute for the gram or whatever the fuck it is y'all doing, all right? You're stealing technology and talking a lot of shit, and you're stealing art too, all right? You never pay for nothing. I don't want to hear none of this from y'all. So look, it's a tiger style strictly. Nobody has to lie for you, all right? You're not doing enough. If you need somebody to cuddle your insecurities or your ego, you know what the fuck you're doing. We're not accepting paralysis, nerve spray, or rape drugs just so you could get naked. That's not what the fuck it is, all right? Cherish every part of you. So we're going to tell the truth and purge disease and mischief. we got to release that not wound up with serial torture and get it destroyed. We're going to transmute suffering into healing and real knowledge, okay? Advance with a real guru. Proceed. We don't pitch fake or hide our suffering. And use knowledge to advance the healing and do real work, right? They're using military tactics on civilians and raping and torturing kids over wars they lost first and foremost in their minds. You heard that. All right? So we're going to talk about rape and torture first. All right? I got about four things I want to talk about today. All right? Um, but it's all about the tiger style. We're not hiding, keeping secrets for y'all. For your intellectual vacancy. That you guys are using that not for torture to wind us up and get us mad and then trying to unwind it again and use our abuses and vagrancies to lash out everyone else. We, we know about you. That trick is fucking broken. You're all psychopaths, alright? You even tried to kill me. That shit did not work. You can come around gang banging and clapping all you fucking want. It ain't gonna save you, alright? You're gonna mill that gear to your hurt for your hurt until it destroys you. Remember, hell on earth is your life gone wrong right here on this planet, alright? Recognize. That's what hell is, alright? It's your life going wrong right here on Earth. All right, so look. I'm going to talk about pornography, all right? Because there's really no such thing. 
when sex is consenting, it's always beautiful, you know? Uh, porno has always a dark under, undertone to it. I'm going to talk about that. And then there's a rape culture involved too, right? When I was a kid, I was working with Intel. My whole family was with AT&T. So they said to me, watch out for adults older than you, especially women and young men. You might be, you know, in your late teens, about to graduate high school. These kids are, these adults are in their 30s. They've been making adult films for the last decade, and they've been selling them on the internet using browsers and the DNS structure and technology and software that you and we as a family own. So keep an eye on these young adults, right? They came around actually raping me. These people are disgusting. Um, I, don't, I don't even mind having sex, but when you have to use drugs and torture and all these weapons, and it's really about drugs, guns, and knives, you ain't got a real fucking story. So y'all, y'all, y'all ragged ass snatches, sit the fuck down where you're at, all right? We don't want to hear that shit. You got to act like mature adults. Notice how you can never enjoy yourselves because you're always sick and angry all the time. That's what happened to you, all right? You, you, you sold your souls out for torture and abuse for money, but nobody sells out for that. You can count riches if you want, but if you're not happy, no one gives a fuck, right? Cherish the child in you. So the point of rape culture, really, it's about um, really people selling uh, and trafficking sex, you know? Um, you make rape films, sometimes they kidnap people and then they drug them while they rape them too. And, and people don't even remember that they've been in a porn. That's what I'm saying. You gotta keep an eye on the validators. Um, molestation, rape, and all matter of sexual extortion don't inhibit my behavior or intellectual skills, but I got I choose to love, so I gotta tell you, right? And I employ science and natural methods. So listen to what I'm telling you carefully. That way you don't let this these type of abuses ruin you, right? We've seen all these tricks before in the old world. I talked about the pound of us being lured into the woods because they were so beautiful and renowned and skilled, they'd be drugged, raped, and murdered, right? And they, they take their children and, and rape them as well and turn them into soldiers and torture them and their tribe indefinitely. Wow. You know, so that's what, that's what the fuck it is. Um, they'll even use uh, rape porn, rape videos or revenge tapes, sex tapes to keep you out of a job. You see how that works? So who gives a fuck? Why don't you just tell the truth about what you know? So don't walk around in suits claiming you're too late. Remember, the Bible talked about this, you guys uh, not being able to cherish your nudity. Make sure you can talk specifically and real about what your nudity is, about your sexuality, every aspect of your body. But you guys cover your clothes every day. You can do that if you want. But now even now, your even your gender orientation and your sexual orientation is confused. You guys don't even know what you're doing with yourself. That's what I'm saying. You guys got to keep learning about yourself every year. It's really just biology and medicine. But don't turn it into something perverse and call it pornography. See why you guys got fucked up? It's just the miracles of life. That's all it is, all right? So they're going to use that gear for your hurt. Uh, and sex abuse to displace large amounts of trauma into your body and they'll use paralysis nerve spray and they'll damage your memory so that you don't remember. You see, that's why some of you have days go missing, even a week go missing. A lot of those are abductions and rape. Not even by, you know, aliens or shit like that. It's by real fucking people just walking up to your back of your neck spraying you. Even police do that shit. But, uh, cops actually did that to me in Georgia several times. They're disgusting these people, right? So they train you to accept poisons. Okay, a woman comes around, she sprays you on the hand and she, she's to the point where she, she only has sex with you with date rape drugs. You follow? Uh, now, when you actually want to be with someone in a real relationship, you can't. So it's the second time she does it again, the third time she does it again. Like I said in my fourth video, the fourth time she drugs you, drapes you, when she's done, she kills your ass. You see how that works? So don't fuck with these vagrant hussies. If they can't look at you in the face and have an orgasm while they're looking at you, these are not your loved ones. Don't don't fall for them, right? These these hussies are vagrant. So, you know, like I said, they're training you to accept torture and abuse. They want you to accept any type of... Uh, Mnemonics, paralysis, nerve spray. They want you to live in an artificial world where they rape you and abduct you whenever they feel like, even kidnap you when they feel like it. And they'll do the same thing to your children. They'll even rape your children and pers persist to sexually abuse generations of people. You see? <clears throat> That's why you see these small little towns. They have like, you know, polygamy and incest. We're like that. They don't really ever let their families engage with consent and mutual love. They're just constantly abusing people. So you got to be careful and know what the fuck is going on around you. Keep track of the date. Make sure you have a phone that tells you the date every day. If you ever see a day go missing or a couple days go by, resolve what's going on around you, right? And don't let people fuck with you. Um, they train people to accept poisons, but be, be somewhere resolving your hurt. These cybernetic mining towns are for capturing and raping biotech developers. Get ready to tell a real story, man. Like I said, don't tell me that you've seen celebrities fucking die right where the fuck I'm at, and you got to go back to lying about it over and over and say, I got fucking problems. Look, I deal with insurance scams and frauds all the fucking time. Don't tell me that Health First and Medicaid are doing what work for me. Come on. Right? I was on a fake insurance scam as I was a kid. They were trying to keep me sick. I never had a real doctor, right? Never. So don't fucking try it, all right? Now, they, they sabotage the entire nutrition industry. There's so much food is toxic in New York. It's all GMO processed shit. You really can't get real nutrition. That's why so many New Yorkers are overweight. You guys can't even take care of your health correctly. I'm 36. I got a six-pack. What the fuck are y'all saying? You see? So... What it is is that um, a lot of the, the adult films, or these are people that used to be in the military, when they go off base, they don't really have consenting sex. They pay for prostitution. Right? Watch the movie Heavy Metal. Uh, Full Metal Jacket, I'm sorry. Watch the movie Full Metal Jacket. They pay for prostitution all the time. Uh, then they pay for sex abuse. And they pay for people to abuse them. All of a sudden, they can't even really enjoy sex anymore. They just want to rape all the time. 
That's the thing is their emotions and their consent and their minds are out of it. It's just their body now, you know? And they're constantly doing it. So now they go everywhere. I just want to rape everybody. If, if, if no one's not paying attention, let me just fucking rape his person. See? That's why that little process nerve spray is so convenient. You just walk up, spray, spray someone. You keep them distracted for a couple minutes. You could beat the shit out of them and tie them up and take them away. No one will know. They'll just abduct your ass, you see? So you got to understand this technology. It's fucked up, but that's what it is. You coming in here, friend? Yeah. Hold on, friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know this was your partner. Go ahead, bro. Be careful because people This is a residence? Private residence? Okay, no worries. I'm, I'm going to see you for a couple minutes and I'll be out, alright? No problem. Alright, so my bad. I'm sitting on someone's stoop, so they walked in the stairs. Alright, so. Like I said, um, you know, these are these are ex-military, a lot of people, a lot, they're just people with trauma problems. They don't really look at consent in a healthy way. A lot of it is due to their work, or their occupation, or where, where they're displaced in life. They just abuse prostitution all the time. And when they're done, they don't ever have consenting sex. You see what I'm saying? Now you have transsexuals, they're really men pro, 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 uh, prostrating as women. They, they abuse their bodies and they abuse everyone else. They don't ever have a reason to be anywhere or loving anybody. That's okay. So, I mean, sex is a perfectly natural thing, but... You know, uh, once somebody has to turn it into something toxic or abusive, uh, that's where they get fucked up. You know, so I'm, I'm just saying you guys want to enjoy relationships like that. And you find that the guilt, that, that gear for your hurt uh, ruins you. You never have to be anywhere consenting to healthy relationships. You know, so people get fucked up and stuck energetically. You see? So that's what's fucked up about it. And now they're just going everywhere. Uh, trying to sabotage every relationship they come across. So don't fall into this cult of mnemonic and fake shit. Uh, don't fall into this cult of people that can't speak truth to power. Don't f fall into this cult of people that speak slowly on purpose and don't solve real fucking problems, right? You guys have mouths to speak, you have eyes to see, you have ears to hear, you have nose to smell, you have uh, skin in your senses, okay? Use all your senses correctly. Don't act like you were lying and hiding things to yourselves and each other just to get a fucking job and keep other people displaced. This is what this COVID shit is. It's a catastrophic bankruptcy. You're not paying for Microsoft development. You know that, right? You didn't pay for Kingdom Hearts or Sega, all right? You didn't pay for shit. Now you guys stand around. If we can get a PlayStation or iPhone on them, that'd be fucking great. Sorry, man. These tech us technologists that do software, you guys are running up on us bad. Like I said, I slept under trees for five fucking months. You're not doing real work in real estate, so grow the fuck up, all right? Like I said, the rape culture is uh, rampant, uh, especially ex-military. These guys don't really know how to enjoy sex. I, I see. I saw a woman that was like a German fighter pop. This bitch fucking tried to kill me, son, more than once. Evil psychopathic raving banshee. And she came around a couple years later trying again. That's what I'm saying. Amazingly disrupting. If I didn't have a, a, a secondary or higher level of technology, I would have been dead. You see? They don't give a fuck. These, these people will lynch the black man on the fucking street. In fact, they tried to do that to me in Pennsylvania and in Georgia. These people are disgusting. Don't feel bad for them. They're going to get stuck right where the fuck they at. They ain't doing shit. They're not evolving energetically. All right? And they still think genetics is enough to displace all of this whole race war. They don't even really understand science. These idiots. A little bunch of idiots. Right? So you're stuck, right? You can't, you can't uh, synergize our genetics without consent. So stop trying to peddle rape and abuse and claim you're really working. All right? We're going to solve you motherfuckers. Recognize that. So, uh... Like I said, porno, just, it's just sex abuse uh, mixed with uh, monetary scams. They're just raping, uh, torturing people, and then trying to make money off it. They never had any real reason to be anywhere consenting to love. So don't fall for these people. Uh, if you can consent to a natural love, if you can just be with a woman the way she is, that's fine. The thing is, marriage is also a bankrupt industry, too. You guys sell a lot of, law, sell a lot of lives for that. So it's just real love strictly. Everything else is a sham. Uh, honor all your senses. Honor every chakra in your body. Honor your whole body, okay? Okay. So, like I said, um, you know... Women drug themselves and even other men in the rape industry. I'm going to finish this up real quick, all right? Um, they drug themselves and even other men. Some also in the gay population, just to justify heinous rape and mutilation crimes, they drug themselves silly and just rape each other for hours. And they try to do everything from pornos to nothing else, but no one gives a fuck. They're just disgusting humans. you got to remember your best love. You know, every orgasm you have that you with someone you care about, you should cherish that memory and that experience. And that's what you come back to. That's why a big part of your sex life is your emotions and your memories commended to healthy emotions, right? Don't settle for fake shit. So, um... You may not even see persistent rape and sexual exploitation, but or see it happen because of mind control, different nerve sprays, even nerve damage. But the rich, the exorbitant, ego, monocle, they pay for sex exploitation, and they even feast off of it. So don't feel bad for these losers. They fucked up. They get caught in that gear for their hurt, all right? Uh, they can't engage with their intimacy without trauma, so they're sick. So if, uh, engage with your, friend, your loved ones with solvency and real truth, friends. Um, the date rape cultures, they seem like they're masculine about force because that's how people in the military are. They're taught to just take things. But notice how they can't be anywhere uh, accepting a reciprocal love. So that's because you guys got a persistent scamming and fraud before you ever had a chance to get a real story. You see? So if you can't honor me to a man or talk real money and real numbers, then you guys got yourself in a swindling and swagger jacket. So I got to resolve real money, all right? The purest things in life is a real love, a love that grows and nourishes. So... Uh, and advances with every level of energy emitted by your true selves and the right emotions rhythmically um, 
uh, extending one parapet and one echelon at a time. So you ain't got to be anywhere selling fake, right? So um, you remain present without remain present without your hurt, right? So. Anyway, fuck MTV and Hot 97 and these Steven Cults not paying for real respect. I pump out lots of music. You guys ain't paying for shit, all right? I don't want to hear international market stealing shit from us and claiming y'all valid. You know what the fuck you're doing. I'm not standing around this little Jewish catering cult with a shirt and tie waiting for y'all to get a real story about money. It's been too long, right? You know what the fuck is going on. You got to count real respect, all right? You're not protecting me. You're not helping my family. You're not paying for my, my children. You're not doing shit. In fact, y'all raping and kidnapping my relatives. So don't grow the fuck up, all right? Israel is not a real country. You cannot take the nomenclature of our ancestors in Africa and northern Egypt and claim that you are one of us. No, you're not, all right? You're demagogues. Y'all got exiled. Go the fuck up. Get your own culture. Get your own stipulations about what the fuck you are, all right? And when you come back and you identify yourself in the real, you come back and share that love with us when you can accept the truths about your tribe, right? Stop displacing your hurt and angst on us and then swagger jacking and absorbing and stealing our culture. You know that's not what the fuck it is. We are Moabites. Moabites from the land of Canaan, all right? You heard that? Respect it, right? We spun discs, we explore space, okay? The power herb, the finest horticulture God provide. Kemetic science, all right? That's what it is. Kemet, that's the real name of Egypt. Put, that's the real name of Ethiopia, the land of frankincense and myrrh, all right? That's where we all were at. That's what, that's what we were doing. Meditating in the hills, talking about egalitarianism and civil liberties and human rights for every man. It's been the same ever since, right? You guys went from Warsaw to Gaza. You're still milling that gear for your hurt. You guys don't really use psychology and linguistics. You're close society. You do not connect empirically with other tribes. Therefore, you're stuck, all right? So learn, listen carefully. Uh, psychology and linguistics, all right? Put the context of your old religions, even sorcery, into relationship with modern science and real epithets and science. You need to know what was going on in the old Bibles. Don't listen to these old priests and um, Pharisees and uh, rabbis, whatever they call themselves, yapping all the fucking time. They got to make real connections in science, all right? The world is changing every day. Right? Every 18 months of Intel technology upgrades. Don't tell me I'm standing around looking stupid for a few dollars. All right? You know what the fuck you're doing. The truth is there were wars in the 90s. Uh, some of my family and my relatives were involved. I had to stick around and just have a real job and wait for you assholes to bankrupt yourselves because you guys didn't know what you were doing. It was actually about firmware, the firmware industry, technology that controls machines. All right? And, and, and uh, yeah, it's, it's basically software that controls machines. That's what it is. All right? So, and information technology, right? So, it's not, a, oh, we'll see, I'll let you know culture. No, you're pandering this rape shit too long, okay? By the time I see you again, we're going to put your asses under the jail, all right? I'm not waiting for your fucking date rape calls to run out, right? So, you lost this war for sex abuse. Nobody wants it, right? You don't want to wake up raped on a beach with your fucking clothes gone, confused about where the fuck you at, right? So, if you don't like that shit, don't expect it, that you're going to do it to others, right? Otherwise, it will ruin your life. And people see the cycle going around. It's not just karma, right? It's your constant vagrancy and abuse. Get a real fucking story. Why silence is all y'all talking shit all the time and never resolving anything, going back to stuck and stupid, saying, hey, if we could do this shit again and use this paralysis nerve spray again and rape a couple more people and shoot a couple more people, then maybe we'll win. I actually had the fucking audacity to see this uh, Jewish or rabbi, I don't know what the fuck he is, um, this, 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 um, he's basically a, a Semitic, you know, I mean, they're not Jews at this point, you're not from the tribe of Judah, but... He's just a Semitic guy from Israel saying that they're going to activate war power, martial laws, and go into, into combat and sexually rape and assault Arab females. You're out of your fucking mind. You are out of your fucking mind. Israel never had a real story. You'll never had a real story. You cannot buy into our tribes and our genetics without consent, you losers. You're dying of your own ancestral rights. You cannot actually honor other tribes, right? You're stuck in this hurt that you're only, your religion is the only one. It's not. Y'all felt fake and stupid. You don't even really read the books you write. You don't even understand them, right? So we cancel and talk uh, toxic and abusive shit, all right? It's always yoga. Resonance and reciprocity. Honor your true self. Exchange fair deals. The principal elements of human existence are survival and procreation. You have to honor your true self, and you have to try to conceive someone. Give that child a chance to love. Without being able to get information from new tribes, you guys are stuck in ancestral closed cultures. Remember that, all right? Those of you that are Jews at home, don't even listen to your parents telling you not to read other books except the Torah. Read every book. Read the Vedic scriptures. Uh, the Bible's kind of corny. It's not really that empirically valid. Um, you know, read a lot of the old, old scriptures. There's a website called Sacred Texts. Look for that on Google. Search for it. Try to read all those books. Even the old esoteric masonry books, all the sorcery books, everything from advanced science to the old Egyptian uh, Kemetic uh, hieroglyphics and all that shit, the Metu Netter stuff. Explore YouTube. Learn about secret societies. Learn about old math. Um, learn about uh, science in the old world, the Enlightenment. Even study drafting and design. Study language, psychology and linguistics. Study etymology. Don't get stuck without the right information in terms of symbols and language and what everything means. Make sure you understand everything all right they're gonna try to trick you up put you in a box because you guys are too you guys are too easily scared you don't take the time to learn all right so most of your favorite politicians celebrities athletes and other intelligentsia they come around with their rapings druggings and masochism with high levels of brutality 
right? Without secondary skills for your protections, a way out of mass psychological abuse, and even persistent lying, you won't see the real world concede their solvency. They'll just abuse and pay for killings and rapes until it sickens them into grief, all right? So don't fuck with those losers. They're going to jump into the spear without a real story, sadly, all right? So look, man, uh, one more thing, okay? Like I said, I, I went to the Microsoft headquarters today. It's pretty fucking stupid that I have to deal with this shit. Imagine working at Doom since the 1980s for my father. The whole Columbine shit, don't let that get into your head, all right? Um, sometimes people pay for these massacres, and they, they, they mill up that gear for, for years. Four thousand, I think it was like, what, a couple hundred kids out of Columbine, a couple thousand in 9-11. Notice how oh, oh, almost 10 million died in the last uh, couple wars that we've had overseas, and no one's saying shit. You don't even see these people. Notice how everyone's dying of COVID. We don't know shit. Where are the fucking bodies? I want an autopsy photo. After this COVID-19 shit is over, we're definitely going to investigate this shit, all right? You ain't paying for my respect, so you know what you're doing, all right? Stop stealing technology and material arts. You know what you're doing, all right? We're going to see you again. After this COVID shit is over, we're going to investigate you guys. I don't want to hear about plasma. I don't want to hear about you guys saying you need sperm and ovum and you're trying to rape us again. Stop this bullshit. You know what the fuck COVID is. You have another technology bankruptcy you didn't pay for the last one. Next. And stop using mind control on us. We know what the fuck you're doing. I sat and waited patiently. You assholes never had a real story. I kept giving you many chances. Now you made a whole town about mnemonics. Not, none of you tell a real story. So stop it. I have too few friends for this shit. You're probably all D-Techs undercover with, with several felonies and rape cases and prostitution cases and pimpers. So stop that shit. All right? So a couple days ago, I went to the Microsoft offices on what? Like in Times Square? They claim not to know who I am. Can you imagine this shit? Unbelievable. So imagine shooting ID software's designers, right? I survived the shooting for Rage 2 ID software. Remember that game, okay? Security lied to my fucking face, man. While wearing suits, uh, uh, no less. They're wearing suits, I'm wearing a hoodie. We don't know who you are. So now tailors are bankrupt. Don't even try that shit. Don't even try it, all right? So is masonry, right? Building development, all right? Doorways need real guardians that honor consent and merit, okay? And real merit, all right? You got to know who the fuck I am. If I tell you something, you better know what the fuck it is. I don't want to hear about Bill Gates' PR diva ass. This guy's a fucking pedophile and a pimp, right? He don't do, he don't do shit. He just talks shit. We don't need this fucking gay diddles ass stipulatory culture of men that are not even consenting to healthy relationships. You can be gay if you want. You can fuck another man's anus till it satisfies you. But don't go around raping and sexually abusing people. I don't want to hear that shit. And don't pay for incels to, to rape, rob, and abuse each other's families. You're not coming through a real respect, all right? Get a real fucking story. So that's it, man. Um, you know, don't don't tell me that you're working, right? These buildings fell out to sham. People walk in and out, but never paid for operating systems. You guys lost my Windows phone for that. You can't force us to go bankrupt the Android and not pay for Microsoft Office and Microsoft Windows 10 Pro. Come on, man. You know what the fuck you're doing. You're not going to separate us and jam us up bad. You need designers for this shit. And you know where the fuck I'm at. I was at Nintendo before you started this bullshit. Come on, man. I'm running this shit. DirectX. DirectX all day. NVIDIA all day. Let's go. So they don't pay for operating systems, they don't pay for software, their music, movies, games, they don't pay for any of the shit I make. So y'all say your asses unstuck and stupid and broke, right? You saw me, you're going to see me again. Make sure you know what the fuck you're doing next time. And next time, you're paying for my suits and my next Lamborghini Aventador. And everybody selling fake and pitching chicane, you're not the ones, right? I actually do this shit. Y'all show up trying to emulate our style. If you want, I'll drop everything you bought and I'll make new shit, all right? Grow the fuck up. Next. We're going to resolve this bubble, right? It's cassette to the internet. All right, cassette to the internet. We're going to resolve real respect, okay? Intel processors. NVIDIA graphics. So let's see, what else, man? What else? I got a couple more things I'm gonna say. I'm gonna wrap it up. Maybe three more minutes, okay? So I'm gonna say this. People fake bipolar, right? Uh, they have vicious shootouts. They always run and get a gun to shoot at you. When they fucking get the ass beat the shit out of and sent back to the hospital for fucking lying, they say, oh, I was bipolar. I didn't know what I was doing. You knew what the fuck you were doing, all right? So I don't wanna hear that. People with developmental problems who wanna do better, they don't wanna stick around and stay sick and make excuses about why they gotta hurt other people. That's some bullshit. Don't try it. So, like I said, sometimes people fake bipolar. Remember that, okay? Uh, because it's a disease, you can claim you're mentally ill and you can hurt someone and go to a mental health asylum. Or claim you're a cop, but you have some development problems. I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all y'all fucking faking it. All right? So, people, people with this disease are apt and even trained and eager to kill. Right? Where do they even get their guns? Right? They're, they're stolen guns no less, right? So, they use process nerve spray before they start. A lot of these freak attacks. So, they spray you on the neck. They say, oh, we got to talk about something. Then, if they fail, you don't remember the traumatic failure. They just blame it on mental illness and everyone goes back to lying about why they abuse you. See? I'm saying, you guys don't kill me easily. I've been shot many times. I've been shot more than once. But even by your favorite celebrities. Even by Gestapo thugs that you guys celebrate and make t-shirts out of. So, don't claim like you're working for me, alright? Fake names, fake insurance, fake ID, fake validators. Uh, the medical industry is a scam. So is police. They never have to tell me a story. They gave me two medical records. One with the last name, Francois, and the other one is Francois. They took my 
the F R A N C O I S, so my last name, Francois, and they switched the I and the O, and they call it Francois, and they gave me two different medical records, different numbers. So I, they would arrest me twice and bring me to the hospital and claim I'm two different people. So I'm like, y'all fucking assholes need to stop this shit. Uh, you never had a damn thing on me, and instead of y'all pandering your medical fraud, just show up somewhere and telling a real fucking story instead of being fake all the time, you see? So now notice how they'll put you in a homeless shelter and talk shit and lie. You don't know what the fuck you're doing, man. Stop selling your desperation and your vacancy as a bunch of cults. You never pay for shit. So you know where the fuck you're at and what's going on, alright? You're always talking shit. Grow the fuck up. New York City is so insecure. Come on, man. So we're going to see who's really bringing merit to bear, right? I mean, I've been putting in hours. Um, you know, you can see I, I put out that um, Sagat EX Tiger Knee on my Facebook and on my social media. I like the fact that we have EX now for a lot of our characters. It's cool. When we're making the new games, we're going to have to manage the different systems. In Capcom versus SNK 2, we had um, six grooves. Three for Capcom, three for SNK. We may do similar systems to that or something better. Or maybe patent something completely new. We don't have to get stuck in old shit. We can do whatever the fuck you want. I have a lot of more innovative styles for games I want to make. So I'm not stuck on any of this old stuff. And I do Smash Brothers for Nintendo. But, but I got to leave a lot of these companies behind. You're not, you're not really paying us. So we're going to talk respect, all right? I got shot in a lot of the biggest banks you love. I saw a sign on Rite Aid store. We're going to work on discrimination. Don't even fucking try. You never pay for shit, all right? Stop lying about me, all right? You guys have every type of scam. I don't want to hear that shit. Rite Aid, Walgreens, you're all bankrupt. CVS now is busting my chops. CVS is coming around because you guys know you're not selling a lot of the products you stole without us, all right? So grow up, all right? Come correct with respect, all right? You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. So don't try it. So that's it, man. Um, my health is good, man. I feel spectacular. I feel really good. I mean, like I said, sleeping outside sucks, but I feel healthy. I feel really nice. I mean, you know, no sickness or disease, whatever. You know, I got a six-pack. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the right nutrition. I got a panhandle every day, but people give me a couple of dollars. They give me some pyramid notes. problem with the cyclical economy is that all these old dollar bills are bankrupt. You know, we put them in delis. Um, these deli owners, they go around and pay the local staff and their people, and everybody kind of rolls around with a small little circular economy of cash bills. Those bills don't go into the banking system and come out. And money I'm earning e-commerce doesn't get paid to me through banks in New York, right? They don't deny, they deny me service at banks in New York. So you know what the fuck you're doing. I'm not going to be nice about it. I'm 36, right? When I was, tw I, when I was 18, I went to, um, I went to a Queens County Savings Bank to actually get paid for work I did as a game developer. They just mumbled in my face, drugged me, and shot me. So that's basically what the local bank community is, and I did that again. That turned into a bunch of vicious shootouts because I can't have y'all my age claiming I got to get shot or hurt just for y'all to count my respect. And meanwhile, a lot of these women were coming through with date rape drugs trying to get laid every chance they could. So I don't fuck with y'all. You're not doing real math or real respect. You know what it is. You're not keeping me broke either. We're going to solve your asses, all right? I'm not going to fake weddings either. I'm not counting money after a wedding. You know you're not fucking with me. If, if you really love me, you'd pay me first, right? So you're not the ones. You're not at my level. You're not at my level. You're not celebrating my love, my intelligence, and my intimacy and claiming you're telling the truth. That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all got fucked up into this gear of persistent abuse. So stop it. All right? So that's it, friend. I feel wonderful, but too much fake fucking shit in the city. I got to resolve a couple things, and we're going to do better, okay? So uh, don't let that gear... For overdoses and psychosis and hypocrisy rule you. Don't let this fake medical insurance scam, fake civil work, fake legal cases, uh, fake police work, espionage, spying, swagger jacking, door breaking, and all types of fake uh, real estate work and banking. Fuck with you, all right? I'm the one. Malik Rousseau Francois, true name, born Jean my whole life. I ain't got to change the fucking story for none of y'all, right? You'll jump into the spear several times before honoring your real self. I just got to be where I am and be my true self. I am. Read all the sutras. Read all the sutras. Read all the sutras. Absorb the knowledge of your ancestors. Don't stay in that little closed community, that little hurt box. Mining that gear for incest and, you know, a lack of emotional and intellectual solvency. You got to explore. Give your mind a chance to learn. They're going to lie to you your whole life. Trust me, all of those of you in little religious cults, I was in the same one. My mother was in Opus Day. I was in the Catholic Church. They raped it and tried to kill me there. I ain't fuck with none of y'all. I'm not asking y'all for your money either. I got paid. I hold it down for sublime power. If you can see, um... If you can see Phobos from Doom, you know we did it, all right? I, I don't need a damn thing from you. In fact, a lot of the rec game the game design contracts I did fell out. Don't tell me I'm making too much money. You haven't paid for shit, all right? So I got to get, I got to get, I got to hold down cash, hand over fist. I got to take care of mine, my numptuals, and do right by my intelligence, all right? So don't go nowhere lying about me and my tribe. You don't know what the fuck you're doing, all right? So it's, it's Capcom USA Inc., all right? Square Enix, uh, Iron Galaxy. Uh, Activision. I was at a claim as a kid. I was at Midway as a kid. I've always been an ASCII. A S C I I. That's a uh, a graphics language. It's an amazing, amazing platform for all types of symbols, right? So I've been at these companies for about 30 years. I've never ever given up. I was at Mortal Kombat. 
never fucking stopping. I'm kind of, I might have to ease my way out of PlayStation. Don't tell me that you're going to mock me on PlayStation 5 and we made Xbox after PlayStation. I didn't get paid for PlayStation 1. So PS5 is look like it's going to be lose out. It's going to get less, less third party support for me. I'm going to do games that I share on both platforms, but that's about it. Y'all ain't claiming come, that you're coming through with respect. So don't try it, all right? Might even make a new console, but I'm not, sell I'm not selling off PlayStation. You guys are old enough to make uh, games. You're old enough to count money. You're old enough to pay developers. So if you don't like it, do work harder. I, I, I got to leave. I got real business I got to do. <clears throat> I got I to gotta buy a house. I got to take care of my kids. So I, I got, I, I'm a real adult now. All right, grow the fuck up. I'm not 11 years old. I'm born in 1984, February 28th. All right? My mother changed my birthday. I think I was really born July 5th, but she wanted that little white out trick where, you know, she could basically put my birthday as February 28th, 1984. Drop a little white out or some tape uh, on the bottom uh, you know, left ligature of the number 8 in February 28th, 28th there. Drop a little wide on 8, now it's February 29th. Oh, oh, you leap your baby, don't even have to say that. They'll just go to court and say I'm 11 years old. I'm at least a 9-year-old little graphic designer. He's so talented. He's the most wonderful animator, Disney. Meanwhile, I can't get a fucking house because I'm not supposed to exist. My records are fucked up, see? So that's why I don't ever fucking go to court without me. You're not my advocates, you losers. Right? And don't use this process. Nerve spray bullshit. I never consented to any of this shit. All non-reciprocal deals get canceled. I never held down more than $10,000 cash or debit at a real bank or even in my hand. So don't fucking try it. You're not coming real with respect. All right? Super Mario every year. So that's it, friends. Lessons learned today. I feel much better. I I'm not going to let that gear for your hurt abuse me. I got to take care of my body. I got to heal my physical flesh and leave all the guilt and disease behind. That's a tiger style. We're going to learn to tell the truth, all right? Suits are bankrupt. Suits are bankrupt. You work for Uriel now. That's who you work for, all right? So lessons learned today, all right? Um, so that's it, friends, all right? It's uh, October 13th, 2020. Tuesday, one of my favorite days. I love Tuesday, all right? 5 p.m. exactly, all right? I'm in uh, Long Island City, all right? <clears throat> um, New York City, New York State. United States of America. My name is Malik Rousseau Francois. Okay, real name my whole life, Malik Francois. All right. Oh my God. Yoruba. Americua. A Maxim. That's what it is. Knowledge, order, rhythm, astrology, nature, Quran, secular Islam. That is all, friends. Brome ducats. Peace.